Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Mobile Application Tester. We are in chapter five talking about automating the test executions and continuing ahead with the next topic of it, which is 5.3 Automation Tools Evaluation. As a part of our foundation level syllabus, we have discussed a lot in the last chapter that what exactly a tool is all about and how to make use of it. At the same time, we tried understanding the protocols which are required as set of considerations and factors to be taken into account before selecting a tool. Now that also adds up to understand that what it would basically be in order to select a tool from the market because not every single tool will be feasible enough for you to adopt and start using them. So it is very important for you to evaluate the tool which meets your expectations and requirements which you actually need for your particular activity. The similar way here, the automation tools evaluation will be done in order to evaluate the specific needs and meeting the requirements of having a tool. Now to be successful in creating the test automation solutions, the test automation teams need to choose an appropriate set of tools. Understanding the key differences of the available tools and their suitability for the project requirement needs to be considered. The evaluation parameters for test automation tools can be broken into two categories that is like organization fit and technical fit. On a broader window, organizational fit parameters are basically from the point of understanding that what exactly the organization is all about, like whether this is going to fit into the purpose from the organization guidelines, policies, the process, standards which you follow, a lot many other things. And similarly, when it comes to the technical fit, it's more about like what exactly your technology is all about. Is this the project need? Is this the process in terms of like creating test design or writing, managing defects, writing test cases, preparing test data? So from a technology point of view, does your tool support a Java platform? Does it support a Python language or not? So more of the technical side will be covered from the technical fit. So talking about the organization factors or organization parameters, we have already discussed this in the 6.2 of our foundation level syllabus and we don't really want to repeat that. But quickly to bring to your notice, we have discussed about several factors that what consideration you should take into account. For example, organization maturity level, the availability of the tool, the cost, the estimation of several parameters which you'll be taking into account in terms of like whether the organization has a need of the tool or not is it a mature organization is the process mature at that point of time like what level of cmmi do you fall under you talk about the uh, specific need of it do you have any need of specific training mentorship do you have a good cost benefit ratio which allows you to afford a tool it should not be putting you under loss and a lot many other factors for more details, you can refer the 6.2 of the foundation level syllabus to understand the organization factors. The next one is technical fit, where we talk about the technology specific parameters, which we'll be covering as a part of this tutorial as well. Now the test automation requirements and complexities such as the use of new features like face ID, fingerprint, chatbots by the app. Now you do understand that every time you talk about technology, there is a new something which is added to the applications or new features are in, innovated and added to the existing applications. Now these new features which you are creating, is that being supported by the automation tool or not? If there are scopes, that's going to save a lot of your time and will definitely add a lot of value from the money added returns, like return on the investment. So you need to understand the scope of the tool that what your tool can be capable enough to take up in account. On the other hand, the test environment requirements, which is such as varying network conditions, importing or creating the test data and server side virtualizations. So these are more core technical things which you actually need to have in place while evaluating the tools to meet the desired expectations. Also the test reporting and feedback loop capabilities the ability of framework to manage and drive execution on a large scale either locally or in a test lab in the cloud. So again, you know, several factors from a technical fact point of view that 
will that be able enough to report certain statistics to us so that we can come to know if the execution passed or failed, if in case the execution failed, then what was the reason behind that? Was it the application? Was it the test data? So how detailed your reporting can be, which can be returned back to you by the tool. And at the same time, the frameworks to manage and drive executions, like, you know, automating further, conducting a data-driven testing, keyword-driven testing, and a lot many other things, can that be also offered or accommodated by the test tool which you're trying to make use of? Also to add integration of the test framework with other tools used for the of the organization. That means there might be other tools which you are utilizing. This is an automation testing tool. You may have several other tools like test management tool, configuration management tool. Now, will they be having the capability of integrating to this particular uh, uh, tool as well or not? Support and documentation availability for the current and future upgrades like Will that be feasible enough for any individual to understand and do the necessary upgrades from time to time? Because the vendor which is giving you this automation tool will certainly release latest updates. But will it be, uh, you know, you will be having some support available or point of contact available to assist you with the process of updating the tool or upgrading from one particular version to another one. That's more important because just buying the tool is simple, but maintaining that could be difficult. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.